Well, hopefully this is all working tonight. Hello, we are here for Osprey versus Shibata. Takeshita versus Swerve. Man, that's going to be awesome. Uh, let's uh, let's put some intros on and get ready because it's starting in, in like six seconds. Play. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Gimme a Hall Yeah podcast. This is Evil Udo of the Dark Order. I hope everyone in Yorkshire and beyond are having a awesome day. Join Dark Order. It's Wednesday, you know what that means. I've got so much going on, guys. Forgive me. How are we all? Lovely to see you all. Sorry, I'm at my girlfriend's house, so the setup isn't what it would normally be. We're doing this on the phone, so let me know if the uh, sound's okay. Uh, I've got the TV on in the background, so we can see Mercedes. And however, it's not Mercedes coming out now. It looks like Will Ospreay. It is Will Ospreay. Here he is, names on the board, coming out now with his hood up. Brov, he looks amazing. Hello, everyone. How are we all? Sorry, it's a really dodgy setup tonight. It's a really dodgy setup. Uh, I'm going to try and get to all your comments as we go through. Uh, oh, goodness. With Becky's deal now expiring in two months, unlikely, I know. But if Tony Khan would reach out, uh, maybe to see if she will jump. I'm sure he will reach out. I have no doubt he'd reach out. It makes sense for any sort of um, any sort of person to reach out, whether or not that means anything. It's a different matter, I think. But, um, yeah, you'll certainly reach out, I'm sure. Um, let's have a look what else he said. I'd be surprised if he hasn't already done exactly that. I'm sure he has. I'm sure he's putting feelings out for Seth and Becky. Uh, how are we all? Hope you're all okay. I just celebrated my um, birthday. I, I can't remember how old I am, but I'm an age. Uh, looks like Darby Allen can't do the right ever. He's pulled to 2025. Bless him, man. That's not good. Uh, he's done his foot. Well, is it broken or is it what's, what's he done to it? Uh, this is really hard, man. Uh, sad times. Can I just use arrows to connote my cat? Damn it. Uh, sad times, says Jack. Plus, if you haven't watched it yet, there's a Bron breaker spot where he catches Tasawa from the top rope jump. Nice, man. No, I haven't seen it, man. Here he goes. This is his uh, opponent coming out. It is Shibata. That's right. On free TV, we are getting Will Ospreay versus Shibata. I feel like Will Ospreay versus anyone is like Woohoo! You know, he brings out the best in him. One, he's very similar to Omega in that, in that he absolutely brings out the best in whoever he's uh, fighting. There we go from New Japan. Check out that rope dive, man, where he landed high. Shibata, man, even Shibata looks younger there, man. Big boot to Osprey there. One, two, three. In Japan, the count twenty. Uh, Miplet, welcome. Hey, not going to be here tonight. I'm pretty tired. Love you all. See you guys next week. Love you, Miplet. Thank you for joining us, mate, and coming in. Hope you're okay, Michael. And hope you had a lovely birthday the other day, man. It was, uh, it was, of course, your birthday on the 25th as well. Hope you had a great birthday, man. Um, next one. Seth wouldn't... Sorry. Want Becky to leave for AEW? She might take her clothes on the road uh, with her, and he wouldn't have to, anything to wear in his promos. That's hilarious. That's brilliant. Uh, oh, here we go. The locking up. I can reveal and keeps all our dead hair to make up uh, underwear. Yeah, okay. I thought they do. My girlfriend asked uh, if Mercedes looks like Sasha Banks. Why? Well, wow. Wow. Uh, he's 67. I don't even remember, man. How are we all? It's very difficult to get your comments up tonight, by the way, just to let you all know. <laughs> Sorry. So if I don't do it, forgive me. <laughs> um. How are you all? How's your week going? My week's great so far, man. Looking forward to the Easter bank holiday weekend. And then next week, looking at Pro Wrestling Eve. So should have a good time there. And uh, yeah, Shabbat uh, locking up Will Ospreay there. 
looking at going down. Nice. So, yeah, it was my birthday the other day. I got some really nice gifts. I got a really nice um, jigsaw puzzle. I love jigsaws, man, at the minute. It's my hyper focus. Uh, it's a David Bowie jigsaw puzzle. It's going to be very difficult, I have no doubt. Um, but I'm quite looking forward to it. Hello, Reggie. How are you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well, mate. Private Party versus the Young Bucks. That is happening tonight as well. Uh, as well as a four-way match. Sky Blue, Anna J, Willow and Chris Statlander. That doesn't feel right, does it? It feels like Julia Hart should probably have been there. But there we go. Mercedes Monet is on commentary tonight. They're certainly building her up for her first match. Probably at Dynasty. Uh, the United Kingdom are going up against Best Friends this evening as well. Can I, can I get a vote? Hassan, I'm really sorry, mate. It's going to be way too difficult tonight for me to get a vote. Just because I'm at my partner's house and I can't do all of that at the same time. So, sorry, I don't sort of have my setup. I hope you can understand, Hassan. Sorry, dude. Uh, do let us know your votes in chat, though, man. I always I always enjoy hearing your predictions, for sure. Osprey attacking the leg. Shibata pulling down. Beautiful headlock takedown. Love it. Even like the way that he gets out of the leg by using the leverage on the of his body, you know, where he puts the like foot onto his arm to pull it down. That's really smart. Shibata now. Looking at fighting his way out. Going for the kick, but missing. Osprey. There we go. Just let's text his head. Uh, I can smell you the other side of Osprey. Oh, don't blame Bex. I'm not blaming Bex. It's all cool. Bex is cool. I'm cool. It's all cool. Here we go. Will Osprey getting the crowd behind him right now. As a two lock up in the middle of the ring. So this weekend we're looking at going to IMAX. I've not been to IMAX since um, Superman versus Batman. And that was what, 10 years ago now, maybe? About that, isn't it? Um, so we're going to go see Godzilla and Kong uh, in IMAX. I think I feel like that'll be, oh, I love the chop. And then Shibata just going head to head with him. Like, let's freaking go, man. Forearms there from Shibata. AW. Has to now follow an amazing episode of Raw. Don't disappoint me, Tony Khan. I've heard that Raw was amazing. That's really cool. I, I watched the Rock segment. I thought it was great. I thought it was really cool. Um, I will say, if you guys think Cody's beaten Roman at Mania, like, think again, man. I don't understand. I don't understand how they're doing the stuff. I don't understand the story they're telling. Because to me, anytime I see it, I'm like, great. I can't wait to see the Cody and Rock. And it's like, oh, that's not happening. So, people are on about, like, The Rock helping Cody to win and all this, like, and it's like, no, The Rock will help Roman win, because, like, do, do people not want to see Rock and Cody right now? Like, is that, did that segment not make you want to see The Rock versus Cody? You know? Osprey going over the top, a big cross body. You know, honestly, I wouldn't even mind if they did it for the belt. I wouldn't even mind if The Rock took the belt off Reigns. I wouldn't even mind that. Because I think that that's been built up really well. Uh, Zakara Khan, welcome. Lovely to see you. Uh, nothing can beat The Rock. Good, man. Good. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was great. It was great. Batman vs Superman was 2016. Nearly 10 years then. Eight years, yeah. Cool. I, I remember... I mean, it was hard because... it. It just wasn't an impressive film, Batman vs. Superman. It was like really disappointing in, in, a, in a lot of ways. Uh, for me, anyway, sort of a big Batman fan, anyway. Um, and actually enjoying Ben Affleck's for Batman as well. I like, I think he's, when we first saw him in Suicide Squad, like he, it made sense to me. It looked like a Batman. Um, so I was really excited. And I think Ben Affleck's Batman is very good, actually. I think Ben Affleck is a, a great actor who played Batman. Um, one of the better even though it was for a short period of time. I think his stoicness is, is excellent. Um, and he plays that grizzled Batman. But I, but I really like the Dark Knight Returns comic. <laughs> Does that make sense? Uh, what's, who's your favourite Batman and Superman? Mate, it's hard because I love Michael Keane. I think Bale's great in what he does. But I have to say, like in terms of nailing the character, I think Ben Affleck did a great job. I really do. Um, I don't think the films are great, but I think Ben Affleck did a great job at nailing that character. Um, in terms of my best Superman, I quite like Henry Cavill, I guess. 
Yeah, Henry Cavill's good. Uh, Christopher Reeve was great. I mean, kind of classic, kind of iconic. Um, yeah, I like I like Keaton's Batman as well. So, yeah. Uh, my favourite Joker is Mark Hamill. Love Mark Hamill's Joker. I think he's great, perfect, in almost every sense. Um, they censored a lot of the wrestlers' comments Monday. I think that the uh, that was a result of letting Cody's little dick syndrome, uh, syndrome comments slip by. Uh, what? Where am man? What do you mean the the censored a lot of comments? Hmm. Oh, I can't even move the bloody thing up. This is really annoying. Sorry, just bear with me. See if I've missed any of the comments. Oh, no. I need a mouse or something, man. Uh, nothing can beat the Rock except box offices. Yeah, man, he's not had the best films recently, has he? Uh, punk segment wasn't scripted. I haven't seen the punk segment yet. They had an outline, but no script. Adam Pearce did the producing for the physical stuff. They couldn't censor the punk segment because they didn't know the swearing was coming. Whoops, a daisy. Well, that, but that, but at the same time, like if the if they're pushing it forward, and the and punk and rock know what they're doing, and they're like, hey, if we get away with it, right, we can maybe do this all the time. Guess what, guys? That's what DX did in the Attitude Era. That's exactly what Triple H did in the Attitude Era. It wouldn't surprise me if Triple H was at the spearhead of it and saying, we'll let these stars get away with it and we'll see if we can talk about doing it more. You know, you look at you look at what, what DX did and this, this was Triple H. DX did the whole segment where they had a list of what they was not allowed to say on camera and read it out for the audience from the TV producers. And guess what? The TV producers loved it. They loved it. Because it was rebellious and it was like that was all part of the attitudes era, you know. And uh, my favorite Batman is the 90s animated series, it's a very good series. Hello, hello, says Becky. How's everyone doing? Uh, Reggie, Becky's in bed. Uh, I'm good, man. Thanks for joining, mate. Uh, Zakara Khan, paper beats rock. There we go, man. Paper does beat rock, my friend. Paper, paper beats rock, but rock will never die. Uh, <laughs> Shibata there with the fist on the back of Osprey. A really good match so far. Even though we've just been talking about Batman. Yeah. Happens. Osprey getting up, holding on to his knee. Osprey's so freaking good, man. So glad AEW have got him. Big four rounds from Osprey. I was in shop the other day. I bought three AEW figures. <laughs> uh no, it's because that uh, the U USA, yeah, AE Dub, AE Dub, Robert Cortez showing his love for AE Dub. Right there, a Shibata sends his knee into the stomach of Will Ospreay before attacking the side. Seems to slow down a little bit. Uh, CM Punk will be on Ariel Hawani's podcast on Monday. Wow, that'll be an interesting listen, won't it, man? That'll be a really interesting listen. I listened to me Osborne's from yesterday, actually. Had a busy few days. Shibata saying, telling Will Ospreay to get up. But Will battling back. Oh, big kick. Big kick sends him down. And now he's fired up. Ready to go. Will freaking Osprey. Forearm. Let's go. This angle makes you look slimmer. Thanks, babe. Thanks. Number one fan right there. Appreciate that, sweetheart. Um... <laughs> Uh, hey, Anne and all. Hello, Todd. How are you? I hope you're doing well, my friend. Thank you for joining us, man. How are you doing? Are you looking forward to some Julia Hart tonight? <laughs> there we go. Will Ospreay getting the advantage again. There's a fly in here. Dynasty, April the 21st. I should be able to cover that. I'll have to try and get the day off work or something. Shibata going over the top. Big kick to the midsection of Will Ospreay, sending him into the LED board right there. Big boo over the top. Face wash. Face wash indeed. Uh, hey, Todd, says Becky. Um, I made KO without warning. Sorry in advance. Been up since 6 a.m. Had a three hour lecture of new projectionist. All oh, right, cool, man. That sounds good. Flipping off the barrier. Big phenomenal forearm from Will Ospreay onto Shibata. Pulling his leg back there. 
Hello, Becky says Todd. Hey, Beck says Jack. Jack, uh, been awake since 5 a.m. and awake at 4.38. Yes, she was, yeah. Yes, she was up this morning, super early. Uh, right, I'm off to enjoy all. I'll be in bed later, love. And don't you worry, you'll be waking up because the kids will be asleep. The kids will be asleep, bed. Um, kick out. Will Ospreay. Uh, I am good. Yes, I am, man. And you know it, brother. Nice, man. Nice. Nice to see you, Todd. As always, my friend. As always. These two, face to face, liking this. A stare off. Oh! Oh, I've got a really itchy leg and I don't know why. Big forearms from Will Ospreay. WWE Speed will officially start April the 3rd. What's WWE Speed, Mark? Tell me. How are you doing, Mark? Nice to see you, man. Congratulations, uh, everyone. Welcome our new moderator, Mark. Done a great job recently. Did a great job of uh, of, of, of Mark into other things. Been following a lot of the WWE stuff. He was like, let's, let's have a chat with the guys, see what we think. He's like, yeah, let's do it. Big forearm from Will Ospreay. Santana says someone currently in a AEW will be going back to WWE when the contract is up. Cool, cool. Uh, I I wouldn't be surprised. I feel like we've. I feel like it's been a lot less than I expected. Uh, Alistair Black, Malachi Black. Do you reckon? I found those recordings on YouTube of the Who playing in Hull. Fantastic. Oh, what was that? Who's playing in Hull? Oh no, what have I done? This laptop is. Freaking awful, sweetheart. It's ass. It is ass. Hey, uh, for Halloween, I'm dressing as Dom. Hey, Matt, congratulations as mod. Yeah, man, absolutely. Uh, and no, you'll be snoring away. Yes, I will. Uh, WWE Speed is a new match thing that filmed for social media. Ah, right, okay. Well, years ago, they had the, um, the mix Match Challenge. That was a social media thing, and that was great. That was like, they did two seasons of it. There's some real nice little stories coming out of it. It was a really, I, I as a wrestling fan, I really enjoyed that. And wish it did more. I really do. Uh, have fun, says Becky. Thanks, lovely. Uh, hey, Todd, hopefully our girls will be on the card tonight. Uh, Sky Blue is on. Sky Blue is coming up, my friend. Uh Pretty much WWE speed is beat the clock. Right, okay, cool. As the octopus is locked in from Shibata now. So I'm really looking forward. Next weekend on um, Saturday, uh, Friday, excuse me, the day before Mania, actually. I don't think I'll be doing Mania this year. I don't think I'll be covering it, which is a shame, because I quite enjoy covering Mania. But I'm um, working, and I'm here, and I'm not doing it here um, with the other lads, because they can do it. That's fine. Um, this is all very difficult to get other people on streams and stuff like that. Uh, can I get a poll, Jack? That's not very helpful when I can't do it. I can't even press the bloody mouse button at the minute. You know that? Uh, here we go, looking at getting the cross face locked in. Got the leg locked already. Yeah, Jack, put who you want to win in the chat. There you go, see? Okay, and uh, I missed it, but who you got in this stellar opening match? May uh, Will Osprey easily, but it is a brilliant match, isn't it? Isn't it a brilliant match? It's a bit weird for me because I'm still trying to get used to the streaming like this. Um, for those of you new joining, this isn't my home. Uh, this is my partner's house. This is uh, all just slightly different setup, but she lives hundreds of miles away, so. Uh... Okay, and uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Steve Carino uh, announced for Indie Hall of Fame. Oh, really? Cool, man. Cool. That's really cool. Will Ospreay going to attack Shibata. Big toe kick from Shibata. Using the very tips of his toes for that kick. Very good opening match, man. Very good. Here we go. Running the ropes and going for the kick. Will Ospreay laying down. Big kick. Big kick. Take your shirt off, I'm um, good, thanks, Jack. Michael Tunder confirms Bray Wyatt will not be going into the Hall of Fame this year. Right, okay, cool. I mean, I hate to say it, but I feel like they're not going to put him in for a while just so that people anticipate him being in it for the next few years. 
I think there's also something about getting it in the right place as well. I mean, Paul Heyman going in in Philly. Makes sense, right? It makes sense, yeah. So I don't know what the plans are for the next few years, but maybe they've got some. Maybe they've got some. And they've said we're gonna we're gonna have him as a headliner on this year, you know. Whatever that year will be. So yeah, man, I enjoyed the Hall of Fame last year. I went to the Hall of Fame last year, which was quite good. I was really down that Andy Kaufman went into the Hall of Fame. Like uh, Andy Kaufman is a, a true legend of wrestling, you know. Next year, maybe, maybe, cool. I mean, I do feel like they'll build it up, but that's cool. That's fair enough. It's wrestling. I mean, it doesn't really matter, you know. It's only a, it's only a fake Hall of Fame anyway. Got the sleeper locked in. Can Will Ospreay make it to the ropes? Getting the leg locked and sending him up over the top and he lands on his head. Ouch. Now Shibata with his own sleeper locked in. Will Ospreay is fading. Fading. I think that's part of the problem. There's no real question on who's actually winning here, is there? Who have you got, Todd? I assume, I assume everyone's got Osprey. Holding his hand up, able to get to his feet, run into the rope, sends him to the apron. Big boot to the back of the head. Osprey now going up. Wow, the big drop kick. Who does he think he is? Enzo. En Enzia was it? Is it was it Enzo the lead saying the lead character in Assassin's Creed? It was, wasn't it? Enzo was one of them. one of the early ones, I think. Um, it has to be Will having him lose this year already would be stupid. Yes, man, of course, yeah. I'm hoping it sets something up. I mean, we're getting these incredible TV... Oh, there's the blade. Hidden blade. We're getting these incredible matches. Oh! Gets kicks, kicks out of that. Um, night all night, Jack. Tiger driver. Night all night, Jack. Good night. Uh, I do, and Will gets a win. I do have Will, but this is an awesome start to the show. Yeah, man, a wrestling start to the show. You know, one of the things that we all loved about AEW Dynamite when it first started was the fact that they'd start off with these great wrestling matches. And for a long time, that was um, the tag division, you know, because their tag division was absolutely stacked. I feel like they're trying to do too much on Dynamite at the minute. I think I think it needs to be a much simpler show. Looking back at them early days, I think, yeah, I think having three ways, having so many divisions isn't helping them. It isn't helping them. Elliot, I don't think it was Elliot. Uh, Edzio Adore di Frenze. I didn't know that, right? Cool. Uh, Max Caster apparently wants to get fired right now. Why? What's up with Max Caster? Is he had issues with the? Um... There we go. It's time for respect here. Uh, what's the man? Those hidden blades look great. They certainly did, Jeff. Nice to see you, Cincy bro. How are you doing, man? I'm gonna get some rum in a minute. Actually, I am gonna get some rum. Uh, so, man, WWE is, is introducing a new title. Nice, Vance. How are you doing, Vance? Nice to see you, man. Let's hope to bring it to the uh, women's GM mode. I'm doing. How about that? Uh, what new title is it, my friend? Uh, should already be should already be and blacklisted from wrestling. Oh dear, oh dear, he's been sexist and making sex trafficking jokes on Twitter. Not a good idea. Danielson. He's got the match coming up against Osprey early on. Getting that incredible match very early on. Early Ring of Honor footage right now. Yeah, so if you um 
I, don't, I strongly advise you uh, watch Pro Wrestling Eve next Saturday, next Friday, a week on Friday. You might see me on screen. Oh, hey. Check it out, guys. Uh, for the new show. Oh, what, for speed? Okay. Anybody happy to see me? We're always happy to see you, Reggie, man. We're always happy to see you. Uh, uh, this is... I'm not happy with this mouse. I'm not happy with touch pra touchpads in general. Yeah, the title is for WWE Speed. It's the WWE Speed Championship. Oh, right, okay. Cool. I guess. Whatever, really. Yeah, cool. Well, it might be good. Who knows? Uh, Max Caster should stick to Grimm's Toy Show with them bunch of reject wrestlers. Grimm's Toy Show? I don't know Grimm's Toy Show. Is that the... <laughs> it's pretty harsh. <laughs> um, I don't know Grimm's Toy Show. I know the um, Grim Life Collective. I've watched a bit of them. Just two goths that go around uh, famous famous film sites and stuff like that. I'm down with that. <laughs> there we go. The World Tag Team Championship culminating in on the 21st. Uh, we have one of the quarterfinals tonight. It's Best Friends going up against United Kingdom. Best Friends. Uh, all because someone said Joshi wrestler Atami Hayashita was better than him. Hay Hayashita was better than him, which she is. Well, yeah, I mean, she is. <laughs> I've only seen a little bit of her, and I know she's fantastic. So, yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. Backstage pro. I'm going to turn this up, guys. Oh, look at him. He's smiling. He looks like a banana, but he's smiling. <laughs> what is this, an ambush? Where's Alex Mambas? He has to learn Japanese actually tonight. He's better looking than Mane. Huh. Bringing in the Rainmaker Kazuchika Akada. What's his biggest goal? Aim is to get the World Tag Team Champions back. Hello, dear. Uh, do you think that uh, Young Bucks are going to go to the finals in this tournament? If he does, I think it's damn cool that they're um, they're allowing them to. They allowed Sting to get the win. What did you tell us to do? Smile more or dress smarter? Nice. Um, okay, why are you going to be at Eve, Anne? Will you be on commentary? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't think so. When I say I don't think so, I mean no. <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. Uh, no, no, Jack. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll like I say, I'll just, I'll just want to... You know, there's a match on there that I really fancy, and it's a Loser Leave Towns match uh, between Charlie Morgan and Alex Windsor. And now, did I see Alex Windsor wrestle against Laura Di Matteo, and it was excellent? Or was that someone else? No, it was someone else, I'm sure of it. I, I really want to see either Charlie Morgan or Alex Windsor. Like, they're both fantastic female wrestlers that I've watched in the last sort of three years and just being wowed by a lot of this stuff. And I have no doubt that that's going to be a cracking match, you know? And the thing is, though, the, the, the both like, they've both been such a staple of Eve for such a long time. Alex Windsor is, um, is well off for his husband, uh, wife, uh, or partner, girlfriend, whatever. Um, 
So I don't know if she's leaving Eve or if Charlie Morgan's leaving because she's had she's had some bad injuries in the past with Charlie Morgan, like breaking her neck and stuff like that. So um, I don't know what's going to happen, and I'm really excited for that. Um, Sue Young's going to be there. That'll be really cool. Like to me, it's just it's just going to be an epic card. So yeah. Uh, Matt Jackson looks stylish in mustard, man. Get some get some red sauce on it, man. He'd look like a freaking hot dog. Uh, Ants ref, lol, mate. My knees couldn't be ref. I won't even know the rules, man. I can't even. And he said, I'll be on commentary. I can't even call the bloody moves. I just call different moves all the time. <laughs> the umbers look like an omelet. They certainly do, man. Breaking some eggs. Where have my fez? Might be the first time that question's ever been asked. I know, right? I want to see that little bastard talk Japanese, right? He was told he had to talk Japanese, and he's not taught Japanese, and he's 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 fluffed it. He's fluffed it. The one storyline where I wanted Marvez. I'm gonna go get some rum. Bear with me. <laughs> uh, why does the young bugs look like a bee? Why? Well, why do the young bucks sting like a bee, baby? Why do the young bucks sting like a bee? Something. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna even risk like turning things off. Just bear with me. Oh, here we go. The old knees. Oh, hey. So, my partner made sure I had my cracking coffee rum for my birthday. She's a good lass. And let me tell you, this stuff is the smoothest. I I don't I don't have a glass. I'm not drinking out of the bottle. I absolutely just pour it into a into a coffee mug. Cuz it is roast coffee. Let's go. Excellent. Excellent. Kazuchika Okada has arrived at Dynamite. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, it's a drink and a half. That'll warm me up. That'll warm me up. On this cold winter night. It's not winter. All right. Over it. What have I done with my vape? Oh, dear. I'm losing it. So, yeah, man. The Young Bucks EVPs are coming out right now. And let loose the Kraken, Todd. Don't you worry, man. I am letting loose the Kraken tonight, brother. It is, uh, it is flowing. It is flowing well. Although if I get too drunk and go to bed, I'll last be like, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? I had a real busy day, actually. Ended up in bed at, uh, at like seven because I was exhausted. I was tidy in the boys' bedroom. It was a nightmare. Young Bucks with their, uh, mate, they, they look very similar in their, uh, with the slick back hair and the dyed moustache. Oh, that's nice. Some nice stuff, man. Oh, Tony Khan has up, uh, said the rankings updated. Sorry, I missed it. Tonight, then we'll forget about them three weeks from now. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I need some grub as well. I'm hungry. But I'm at my girlfriend, so I just read the fridge, right? That's what you do, right? She, oh, she's so good. She's got everything there. Double or nothing, May the 26th. Guess where we're going to be covering that, guys? Right here. Ugh. And he's back. Hello. Oh, the private party have their own security. Nice. Love that entrance. Nice to see that back. We've not seen private party in action for a while here. Ever since they was off for a while. Back now. Ready to dance. 
Yeah, I like. I prefer the entrance where they do it in the uh, in the ramp. Actually, yeah, I quite like that. Oh, this is nineteen. Wow. A while since these two teams have faced then. The tenth and the ninth, nineteen. That long ago. That was very early on, then, eh? Yeah, that's when Private Party got that big first win, wasn't it? Was that the match where someone lost a shoe and they threw it to the crowd and the crowd kept structuring the shoe back? Or was that uh, SCU? Man, SCU. That was supposed to be a big thing. So, Graves has just said that WWE Speed will be three minute matches, every second counts, and it's a tournament. Interesting. Cool. What, what are you watching it on, Mark? It will be on X only. Makes sense, man. Quick quick social media. Nobody cares about the rankings. I know, man. Hassan's voting for Private Party. Thanks for your vote, Hassan. And letting us know that. Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson wrestling in a waistcoat gear. Nice. Mark says, uh, Tony Khan takes offence to that. <laughs> he does. Uh, I don't know why people get excited for the rankings coming back. Uh, they never work, not even in wrestling. Um... I think they can work. I think you've got to have a ballsy uh, booker to make rankings work. And I don't think Tony Khan is that. Let me put it that way. Um, I like the I like the ranking system in Progress and Eve. I think it works fine. Um, but you've got to... But the thing is with Progress and Eve, and I said this to Dan before, like, it's one division maybe tag division rankings but i can't remember if tag division rankings i think there is there's like two divisions so it's very easy to keep track of and it's very easy to not very easy because it's still work but it's very um it can become part of the storytelling the ranking here just becomes something we bitch about on here you know okay i cannot see how the young butts lose this uh no man neither can i you know, evening. Oh, hello, dear. Oh, hello, dear. Nice to see you. I'm just talking about you. Uh, oh, rankings work when you do them properly. There you go. <laughs> evening, 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 evening. Hi, Dan. How are you doing? Thanks for the um, birthday message, bro. So, but more importantly, what did you think of uh, Ghostbusters? How was it? There we go. Private party going up on the top. Tornado DT. Hello there, wizard, says Todd. Big kick, big boot to the face. Nice. Five years ago, these were, this team was fighting in one of the very early Dynamites. Put to there. What's he looking at here? On the barricade, man. Although we just seen a barricade spot in the last match. Oh, shoot. A falcon arrow off the barricade. Wow. Uh, don't spoil Ghostbusters, lol, says uh, Matt. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I've only seen Ghostbusters Frozen Empire six times. Not a fan, then. Not a fan. Not a fan. <laughs> seen it twice more tomorrow. I'm going to see them on Saturday, Dan. Not to see Ghostbusters. I'm off to see Godzilla and Kong. But I'm going to, I'm heading to IMAX. Been a long time since I've been to IMAX, so I was like, you know what, screw it. It's a fantastic 4DX experience. What is Ghostbusters? That's cool. I didn't know they were doing it in 4DX. That's really cool. I know they're not doing it in IMAX. Matt sent into Nick. And now Matt Quinn suplexed into the knees of Matt Jackson. Nick celebrating. The 2016 uh, film ruined Ghostbusters for me, really. What, the, which one was that? I mean, I don't really know my Ghostbusters. Is I'm assuming that's the old women's one. I don't think that was too bad. I thought it was quite fun. I'm doing Godzilla uh, X-Kong on Friday in IMAX 3D. Yeah, I think I was in IMAX 3D. I could uh, I'm just going to take the gig to it. I just want them to have that big screen experience, big monsters fighting on screen, big sounds, you know. 
see how they deal with it, really. Uh, Dan seen Ghostbusters in Super Screen, 4DX, Screen X, and of course, no, 4DX is the way to go. Cool, there you go, man. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I've, I've heard that reviews haven't been great, but do not really matter what reviewers think, do it? Um, I also saw Late Night with the Devil today. Brilliant film and original. Nice, man. Nice. Dan's been busy. Uh, I hate the women's uh, ghost story. Uh, Ghostbusters made no sense. I just thought it was a funny comedy. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was fun. I thought it was fine. I thought it was light entertainment. That was what I wanted. I haven't seen Afterlife yet. And I haven't seen Frozen Empire. So. Not that I'm about or against seeing them. Just. It, it, it takes a lot for me to go to cinema, to be honest with you. Because I don't live with my partner, so it's just myself. And I could go by myself if I wanted to. Um, but I don't. I record women's GM mode videos. <laughs> What's nice is my cinema in Hull, which is uh, in the town centre, like, you know, five minutes walk from where I live, um, is actually uh, like five quid a ticket as well, so it's really cheap there. Um, not that the IMAX will be, but eh, don't matter, does it? If Sky Blue wins the Fatal 4-Way, she will face her friend, Julio Hart, says Chris. Wow. Okay. Can't see that happening again, can you? I can't see it happening. How are you doing, Chris? Nice to see you, man. Uh, now, as a standalone film, Frozen Empire is a mess, but I got to spend more time with the characters I love in what I'm pretty sure is going to be the final Ghostbusters movie, so I'm just appreciative. Nice, man. Nice. Cool. Good. Enjoy it. Power bomb onto the open there from Nick Jackson. Oh, bless you, man. I mean, that that's part of the reason I'm not interested in it. I heard that, uh, that Afterlife was worth watching, so I'll, I'll get to it at some point. I just don't necessarily think I need to go up my way for it. But then at the same time, I've always liked the big monster movies. Um... Um, and I'm, I know what I'm getting with Godzilla and Kong, and I know that it's going to be a bit of garbage, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> I just want to see big monsters fighting on a screen. And actually, from a review that I was, from a, a, a director interview I was watching, it seems to be that's what he's strived for more in this film: um, the monsters as protagonists. And while that. Um, while that might not be, but that might not make for the interesting film, I don't know. Um, it's going to make the action sequences uh, or the the sort of visuals more, uh, more. It's going to make the visuals bigger. Um, to, to and that's why I think going to see it at IMAX is is, is the right call. That makes sense. Uh, Heyman said in an interview he's pretty much uh, going to wing his Hall of Fame speech. Nice man, nice. Nice. Cool. Going under. Big kick. Blowing the kiss. <laughs> Up and over. Beautiful spots there. Beautiful stuff spots there. Yeah, that's it. Rage up. Rage up, baby. Let's go. Don't sell it too much. Rage up. Going up on top. Going off the top rope. Big crossbody. Beautiful stuff, man. Nearly gets the pin there. Nice. Let's go out there. I can see Sky Blue steal the victory from Willow Nightingale. I feel like they're either going to settle Will. I think they've got to do Willow and Mercedes, and I assume that's going to be the first match to do because I don't think they're going to have Mercedes fight until Dynasty. But Dynasty feels like it matters less than anything else. It's only three or four weeks away, so I'd probably be doing Mercedes and Willow for the first time. Um, and then you can build to Statlander Mercedes for the next one, which is good, man. I mean, don't don't give us it all at once, you know. This is so smooth, man. It's dangerous that stuff. Let me tell you. Um, oh, we're getting a new Chucky movie. Yeah, do you know I've not seen the last one, the, the um, Cult of Chucky. 
I've seen the series, but I don't think I've seen The Cult of Chucky. I don't think so. I saw the remake and it was fine. Just fine. Matt Quinn going up over Beautiful and Zaguri. I mean, this is a great batch, man. This is what a good wrestling show this has been so far, guys. Kind of just what we expect, isn't it? Uh, Afterlife is a strong music for Frozen Empire. Isn't clear was rushed out by Sodi, and I can't figure out why because March is loaded, says Dan. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What you think the the way the sequences are edited, or the storytelling, or what 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 makes it a rushed movie? I enjoyed all the Monsterverse movies, to be honest. Um, yes, I went to see. Uh, what was the one with Godzilla and King of Monsters in cinema? Oh, I went to see the first two in cinema, and then I missed King uh, Kong versus X, uh, Kong versus Godzilla, and then I, I but I saw it. I've seen it, um, and Skull Island I watched on on TV as well. Love the original King Kong movie with the one with Jack Black in it, not the original original. Um, I think that's a great movie, the Peter Jackson one. Really solid movie. I wouldn't necessarily say that's in that is that that's not. Monster Vest law though is it? I think Skull Island is where the Kong Monster Vest goes from. I think. Um, I'm a huge cinephile. My old limited card gets a proper hammer in. Nice man. I bet. I bet. Good. Hey man, if you're gonna invest in it, use it, dude. Uh, don't call the Chucky's bad. I know, but so much of this TV show relies on it, <laughs> especially with the um. The fact that Chucky was in hair for a while. Um, I really enjoyed the TV show, by the way, Chucky. Me and our last are both looking forward to the third season coming out this year. With old Chucky. Ooh. Gin and Juice. I don't see Alan, Anna J winning, says Chris. Nice. Gin and Juice. Can they get the win here? Going for the tag. Get him in. Up on top. Uh, like, not the worst, but still bad. Cool, man. I love the proper hammering wizard. I, I, I love the term proper hammering. <laughs> yeah. I'll last know that term. After I've been here for a week. Uh, oh, WWE are bringing back the Slammies. Well, why they haven't brought back the Slammies in the past is beyond me. The Slammies are great. The, you know, Owen Hart made the Slammies, man. Oh, what's he got? Oh, the ring bell. Uh-oh. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, so this is Frozen Empire. Structure is a mess. So much stuff in the trailers is missing. Eh? Interesting. Uh, far more than most films, including the big key moments they pushed in the trailer, they brought the release forward to. Okay. So, well, that's weird, isn't it? That's very weird. So clearly scenes were unfinished. Then. So did it have the big action feel? Did it have a lot of um, the sort of CGI you expect that you'd expect in a Ghostbusters movie? I heard the Slimer effects were excellent. I hope AEW doesn't show the other half of the arena. Oh, is it bad? Is it bad? We're not sold tonight. Uh, can only assume it's to boost quarter income for the shareholders. No, it's not good, man. It's not good. Knox really breaking character to stop them from using the bell. I know, right? Yeah. I know. It's almost like he had a script to follow. <laughs> there we go. Matt Quinn going up to the top. Isaiah pulling Matt uh, Jackson across. Standing on top. 450. Ooh. Was that 630? That was like even more. Like knocking his back. Mate. Picking him up for the EVP trigger. Oh, that was awful. Two back and forth. And he's gone. That was a real weird ending. I wonder if Matt Quinn's okay. Oh, it's not bad. It's just, it's a whole empty ass arena. Oh, man. Not good. Not good. Uh, Denise mentioned the Allen injury on her, her Twitter. Right. Nice, man. Nice. Well, hopefully he'll, uh, hopefully he can do it next year then, if that's what he wants to do. Um, 
it's a shame because it felt like a good time for him to go, but you can't you can't help it if he's hurt his foot. Uh, he just slipped. Sod law. Yeah, it was all just a bit sloppy though. The the ended in general um, felt just a little bit sloppy. But yeah, sod law. Shit happens. What's that? Oh, look at them figures. Oh, look at the Malachi black one. That's nice. And that's uh, Claudia. Nice. Once they are gone, they are gone. So, I bought some new figures. Um, speaking of the Young Bucks, oh, mate, I made a mistake, really. <laughs> I'm a bit upset. Um, I got the uh, Matt Jackson. Matt Jackson, one of the Young Bucks right there. Don Callis there. Told not to guess there. Uh, it's quite nice. Quite nice. And I got Nick Jackson, obviously. But Anthony made a big fatal error. I really like this Nick Jackson. I think that's really cool. I'm going to spot what the error is. From the wrong bloody season. This guy's like one of the early ones, Series 3. And he's got like the... So the tassels on the bottom are like cloth. Like sewn in and stuff. It's like really nice. This one's like all plastic. It's all just a bit now. One's from Season 3. One's from Season 7. I've just got the wrong ones. God damn it. But there's only a tenner in that sense then. So I was like, yeah, screw it. We'll get it. And now I need to find a Matt Jackson with the cloth. And then the Matt Jackson, that one, I think I've probably just gifted the boy. Um, and then um, the other one I got was uh, All Women's. The only other one that they had that I was interested in. They had loads of Jake Hager's left. <laughs> I wasn't interested. That one's uh, Rio. So I was like, yeah. So we'll have Rio. So to come tonight. Oh, mate. Sasha Banks. Mercedes Bonet. Once again, looking phenom. And her hair looks beautiful, too. Wow. Up next, that four way as well. Excellent. I think Knox was leaking and Nick slipped on a puddle of formaldehyde. <laughs> hey guys, hi Nemeth, how are you doing, man? Nice to see you. Uh, what's this say? There's about 440 there, 4,400 there, isn't it? Right, okay. Ah, that's a shame. It's a real shame, especially when they got like the advertised Minet. Oh no, the advertised Osprey's been there last week, so that's a shame. Okay, people from Chicago, why is punk made with Indy Hartwell? about putting ketchup on a hot dog in Chicago. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I was in Forbidden Planet the other day, and a loader on sale for £6 to £10. Right, wow. £6. I mean, I'd pay £6 for them. I quite, I quite like some of the figures. I've got a nice Omega one from Series 1 that I really like. Um, I suppose all the really good ones are taken out there. That's the problem. Like a Derby one would be really lovely to have. I remember they used to have loads of MJF. I probably should have got an MJF one back in the day. It was about 15 quid. Like For a tenner, I was like, you know, it's great. It's a tenner. Uh, take off your shirt. And Why is everyone telling me to take off my shirt tonight? What is this? What is this? What have the boys done? <laughs> did I have a good birthday? I certainly did, man. I certainly did. I had a lovely birthday. Thank you. It was really relaxed. It was a really relaxed day. Um, we didn't do a lot. We had some friends around on the night. We just gabbed. Um, yeah, it was really chill. Uh, that should say 340. Sorry, you don't you no need to apologize. I do. No need to apologize. I want a pen one. Uh, yeah, pen would be cool. Pen would be cool. I'd like a pen of Phoenix one. I love pen. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, nice day. Got some, I got some more room actually uh, for my birthday. Our last bought was a, a cherry room. It's a dead man's fingers cherry room. Um, it's a little bit artificial in flavour, but it's quite nice. It's, it's all right. It's quite strong cherry. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Kraken cherry. It's okay, but I think the coffee is, like, exceptional. Exceptional. Sorry, Dad, I can't open your photo, mate, because uh, cause I'd, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd end the stream. <laughs> I'm streaming on my phone. Uh, take take off your take off your pants, man. Jesus Christ. What, and jacket? What? What do you want? Nice shirt, dude. Thanks, Reggie. It's me, uh... Me Sabbath shirt. It's, it's what I love about it is it's like tie dye happy black Sabbath. <laughs> I love but I love black Sabbath. I was listening to all the early today. 
Uh, just what's up to your photo? Oh, you're streaming off your phone, lol. Yeah, you've got no chance. <laughs> you've got no chance in me trying to read that one, man. Uh, looking through Max Caster's Twitter. Uh, please, someone take his phone off him. What's going on? Is he still... Is he, is he continuing? It's Darby Allen. Tony Hawk looks real old. He broke his foot. Nice. Letting Tony Hawk's charity do some speaking. Tony Hawk looks real old, man. I mean, he is. Good. Cool. Oh, good on him, man. And good on Darby Allen for using his time away to... Can't climb Mount Everest this year with a broken foot, but he's got another plan, and now we see Tony Hawk doing the skateboarding. What did he do? Just do a ollie off his broken foot. Oh, he's touching his foot. What? Ooh, that seems like a real sensible idea, Darby. Stay safe, love. Uh, Aussie rules, he certainly does. What is this that stands before me? Uh, you, my buddy, everyone is my friend. Certainly I'm a friend. Certainly I'm Richie. Oh, it's Jerry Hook. Oh, what's the proposition Jericho had for Hook? I want to see what it's like to face you. You exceeded the expectations. Yeah, you dropped him on his head a lot. <laughs> Biggest victory in his AW career? He's never managed anyone? If you want. I appreciate your advice. I'll take advice. You are Chris Jericho. I know who you are, but I know who you can be. Chris Jericho implying a manager role there. Interesting. Um, yeah, cool. Oh, CEO, CEO, CEO. Is that what we do? CEO? I don't know. Wow. She, she's stunning. She is stunning. Is Miro going back to AEW? He's in AEW. He's injured, I believe. Uh, I've scored to some of it, and the dude sometimes needs to shut up. All right, okay. Uh, has Tony Hawk got his Lake L Lakai shoes on? I don't know, man. I didn't. I missed it. Is Miro going back to WWE? No, no, he's staying in WWE for now. Uh, honestly, if you want movie stuff and info, check out Chris Park on YouTube and Twitter. It's three C Films. He gives reviews and movie info about upcoming movies. Cool, man. There we go. If you if you're looking for a reviewer, Chris Parker is your man, potentially. As Willow, Nightingale, with more tattoos, comes out. 
Yeah. Big kick. Big kick, Willa. Let's go. Let's go. Sending Stokely back. Hook is boring, says Nemeth. Uh, Hook is boring. No, oh, I think he's all right. He's good in the ring. When he's not dropping Jericho on his head. That might have been Jericho's fault, right? Uh, this CEO is hot as hell. I know, right? She's, she's a beautiful woman. Anna Jay's coming out. It's making a beautiful woman. Jack Perry's partner, Anna Jay. Going with the tails, look again. I always feel like Anna Jay's character has uh, has not quite been there. I feel like if uh, Brody was still around, she might have uh, she might have had a more of a sh more time to develop it. I think, I think that's fair to say. Push to develop it a little bit more. She could have been where Julia Hart is now. Uh, dare you say that to Taz or Hook in front of them? Lol. Uh, Todd Johnson and already has he backstage. Uh, what? Mercedes, really? Uh, Chris Statlander coming out now. Hook has cracked tattoos. I will agree with you, Nemeth. Coming in a... what she got a top on? What's she revealing? Oh, she's coming out in sweats. Takes the top off to the crowd, not to the audience. I vote for Willow Nightingale. Are you ready for Easter Sunday morning? I certainly am, man. I certainly am. I'm hoping Ghosts are going to release something, actually. Uh, there's rumours that they're going to do something, so. Excited for that. Um, Sky Blue coming down now. Um, who do I have winning this? Is this for a shot at Julia Hart, then? If it's for a shot at Julia Hart, um, a shot at Julia Hart. Yeah, Chris makes sense. Chris makes sense. Go blue, go, says Todd. Yeah, she already wants to jump ship. Oh, really? Cool. Are you trying to smoke? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm having a vape. I quit smoking a few months back. Been doing really well, actually. Having smoked for 20 years. 20 years. I've been vaping. Uh, Futurama is 24 years old today. No way, man. No way. I remember it coming out around my birthday as well. I didn't realise it was 25 years ago. Yeah, I've never really liked it. I've really given it a chance as well. I thought it was okay. I just never, never got into it much. Willow sending Anna Jay to the corner before the avalanche. Big clothesline and then taking her head down. Big boot there from Willow. Willow wants a chance. Was it Julia Hart or Mercedes? Who was it going to fight? And how can Mercedes want out already? Like, she hadn't done out yet. <laughs> With respect, she hadn't done out. Old stuff, amazing. Newish ones, not very good. Mate, I, honestly, I, I watched the first few seasons and it, I just didn't get into it. I preferred American Bad Dad back in the day, actually, when that first came out. Willow should face this to face my dark goddess and then Willow lose because uh, of the CEO. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Ant has no trousers on. Please keep sitting down. Nemeth, have you have you got my toilet cam again? You dirty little bastard. Love it. Uh, when it gets a title match at uh, Dynasty. So you, you don't really want it to be Willow or Willow because you want her to go against Mercedes, I think. Um, so Chris makes sense. It makes no sense for Sky to go against Julia again. Um, and Anna Jay feels like she's just been put here to get her on TV, which is fine. You know, which is fine. Um, but I don't necessarily need to see Anna Jay and Julie Hart. Like, they don't feel part of this story. And the other thing is, if you put Chris Statlander with Julie Hart, then it, it, it gives uh, Mercedes stuff to do with Chris Statlander that could end up with Chris Statlander. Chris Statlander could win the title and then it could be Mercedes versus, uh, versus Chris Statlander for the title. You know, and that could absolutely happen. Big dive there from Willow, sends Sky Blue flying, and now squaring up against the CEO, Mercedes Monet. -A. 
How does she not look tacky? How does she not look tacky? She just looks amazing. <laughs> uh, Nemeth would love to be pinned by Anna J. Fantastic. Good, good to hear it, Nemeth. You dirty dog. I don't believe it. You just want me to stand up. Get to the back there. Chris Statlander now. Stock is going through. So, yeah, well, that's what wants to go to B&M tomorrow. I suppose it depends what time I wake up. But it's not too bad because... Um, hello, Millie. Uh, it's not too bad because we... Um, because we're, we're still an hour behind in the UK. So it's only one in the morning right now. Normally we'd be starting it around this time. Uh, I'd love to see Motor City Machine Guns join AEW for the final run now they've left TNA. Nice, man. Nice. Could do with something to cement the tag division. But once again, I feel like AEW just has a bit too much going on at the minute. Where's Sassy? I'm not entirely sure, Nemeth. She's, uh, she's not been well recently. Um... We do miss her, and we do send her love, for sure. But uh, I'll send her a message tomorrow. Check she's all right. Love Sassy to pieces. Also, has anyone been watching the uh, women's GM that I've been doing? It's been doing very well on the channel, still. Amazing, really. I mean, you think them videos get more watch time than this by about 10 times at the minute. And that's the new videos coming up. It's incredible. Doing really good stuff for the channel as well. Like really helping to pay for streaming hours and stuff at the minute just by itself, which is great. A great position to be in. It takes off a lot of pressure from everyone, you know. Kick out there. Uh, she said she has church or something on Monday. Ah, right. Okay. She's at church, is she? Oh, thanks, Mark. Thanks for letting me know, man. Oh, swinging net breaker there from Sky Blue. Looking good. Like I say, Chris Statlander, I've been real hot and cold on her, and, that, and recently she's been really good when she's been doing stuff. So, flatliner there from Anna J. But she gets caught by the big clothesline from Chris Statlander. Chris Statlander rolling through now. Mercedes Monet enjoying what she is seeing, reading the tea, as it were. Eric Bischoff calls Ronda Rousey a bitter, angry woman. Um, I mean, is she bitter and angry? Yeah, but I mean, I don't know why. Like, like, yeah. I mean, she had a shit time, like. You know, um, she's calling out people in a way because she doesn't rely on WWE. She doesn't rely on wrestling. She needs wrestling less than wrestling needs her. Less, she needs wrestling less than wrestling needs her. Yeah, that's exactly right. Like, so she, she, she can. Which is great. And more people should be able to do that, to be perfectly honest, in any business. You should be able to call out shit. And she's absolutely calling out shit, so I think she's cool. Uh, Sassy Miss Monday, but pops in briefly to say she was doing some church work. Ah, right, helping people with addictions. Good, lass. Hopefully they th that is what has her not here. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. She's... Uh, She's a busy lady. She's a busy lady. She's uh, she's keeping busy. She she's not been well recently either. So uh, trying to lift Willow up, but unable to do so. Willow looking strong here. They are building Willow up strong. I will say that much. Oh, nice turnaround there. Last second turnaround. Really nice there from Willow to get her body under Sky Blue very quickly. Oh, Code Blue. And a kick out. Oh, that could have been it. What a legend. Bigger up. Indeed, man. Indeed. Uh, we need the Nemeth brothers. You want to see Nick Nemeth in AEW, do you? Cool. I don't see think WWE never needed her. She needed WWE. Uh, nah, she was a big... Ooh. That should have been the coolest spot that it was. Um, 
I no, she she didn't need WWE. She made her money in USC, man. She made a, she's made her money. She, she's a celebrity anyway. I mean, she was in the freaking Expendables, you know? <laughs> she's uh, she's fine. She didn't need WWE. And to be honest, that first one that she did was amazing. Amazing. Her first match was amazing. One of the best matches at that WrestleMania. It was that Triple H, Stephanie McMahon, Kurt Angle and Ronda Rousey. That's it, wasn't it? It was a really good match. I was thinking about it, and you know, some of my favourite matches at Mania in the last um, four years have all been women's matches, man. I think they've been killing it. There was that triple threat with Becky Lynch, Sasha, and uh, and it wasn't Bailey; it was Charlotte. That was incredible. Mania thirty-three, I want to say. Um. Last year's Mania, my favourite match was Rhea and Charlotte. I thought it was incredible. The, the time we was all watching it from home, um, that year's Mania was Rhea and Charlotte, again. Like, the only people that really figured... Oh. Hang on, net drop. And then going back to Mercedes for reaction. Wow, holy chip chance from the chant from the crowd. Going to lock her up there. Anna J up on top. Pile driver. Nope. Rolls through. Kick out. Like honestly, the women's matches at Mania have been brilliant these last few years, for sure. I kick there from Anna J. Willow, underhook. Gut wrench. Oh, into the power. And she gets the pin. Okay. Didn't expect that. So number one contender. This is a dynasty. Julia Hart with the attack with a title from behind on Willow. Julia's very smart. Holding the TBS title high above her. Oh. And now looking over at Mercedes. Oh, I'm done with this. Julia holding the title, showing that she is in charge at the moment. Chris Statlander going to help Willow. Hmm. Willow Nightingale versus Julia Hart at Dynasty. I think Willow's winning there. I think Willow's winning. I think they're putting the TBS title on um, on Mercedes. Hmm. Oh, it's Dustin. Hey, I'm Dustin. Looking like Jack Skeleton with that makeup. Who do you think you are? It started 2024 with a bang. Sorry, I can't go up on the comments, guys. Forgive me if I've missed some. Uh, punk on Raw. I never needed to put someone's name on a shirt to sell it. Also, see on Punk. I'm a Paul Heyman guy. I know, right? Yeah. Or you just use your Chicago stars. Uh, Sam Punk is a one-trick pony. Uh, new ring gear for Sky, says Normar. Enjoying life, good man. Hey, I call that. Well done. Um, well done, Todd. Hello, my dark goddess. No Julia wins because CEO cost will. That'd be good. That'd be really good. Yeah, I'd be down with that. I don't really want her against Julia. I've told you that. Uh, what do you think of Cor Ryback coin, uh, Triple H, a cancer? I think a, a cancer is a heavy word. Um, I don't... Building up a rampage match, the Butcher versus uh, Dustin. That's cool.
Mm. What do I think of him calling Triple H cancer? Cancer the heavy word to use. Um, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Triple H seems like a pretty sound guy to me. Uh, Ryback is a shit stain in wrestling, says Mark. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of is, yeah. Justin Rhodes versus Butcher. Nice that they've done a little build for that uh, backstage. Nice. Good. Turn a classic movies. What are we doing here? Oh, hello. It's Ben. Tyler's Tennis Stone. It's great. Redefine the artistry of professional wrestling. We've got the presentation of the black and white a lot better as well. Not going to say that. <laughs> Great. Cool. Cool. Not getting as much TV time now. Mercedes is here, though, is she? Booting. Booting. Um, yeah. Uh, Ryan Back is a shit stain in wrestling. And you said your girlfriend was from London. What football team does she support? I don't even if she'd know, um, know what football was, my lover. I don't know if she'd even know what football was. Um, so no one, I guess. She's a bit like me. She doesn't really care about football. She doesn't really care about wrestling. Um She's always enjoyed when we've gone to Pro Wrestling Eva, which we're going to try and do next weekend. Uh, his delivery was great. Whose delivery? Whose delivery? The delivery of the dude there. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was funny. Very funny. A Turner Broadcasting bloke. Yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to have to uh, sort out some, some tickets for Pro Wrestling Eve. I'll ask need to sit down there. And he's out up to it, my love. And he's out up to it. So, yeah, should be fun though, eh? Hey, eh? going to going to London to watch Pro Wrestling Eve. I can't wait. I actually kind of wanted to see Dan this weekend as well, but um, unable because he'll be real busy. In Pro Wrestling Eve. Nah. Well, we'll do it at some point. Be nice to just hang out with Dan and Emily though. We know pressures around us, but it's all cool. No, I think we've got a babysitter. So once I've got the babysitter confirmed, I'll, I'll get, get some tickets. Come on down, baby. Can't wait. I need to be dynamite. Happening now. Um, it's, it's Phil. Phil. Uh, wait, when you're down. Well, I'm, well, I'm down now. Um, I'm down next week. Yeah, I'm down next week. Yeah, I'm coming to... Um, there's a, a wrestling event happening down south. Um, somewhere in London. It's called Wrestle Women in Action. I believe. Um, so, like, with a name like that, I was like, yeah, we should, should head down to that event. That'd be cool. And also, I hear that the Charlie Morgan and Alex Windsor are having a loser leaves town match. And do, like, I don't, I don't want to know anything about it. I don't want to know anything about it. I'm excited for it. Let me be excited for it. <laughs> don't ever, don't mess with me anything. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm just very excited. I think that's really exciting. I've, I've, I've really enjoyed watching both of them this last, like, two years. And I'm like, man, if, if one of them's leaving town, this might be my last chance. So, Becky said, what do you want for your birthday? And I said, I want to head to London. I want to head down to, to Pro Wrestling Eve. Uh, can we all, like, give a shout out to... My dad, Dan Hargreaves, who's been doing a freaking solid job of uh, of them thumbnails at the minute. Really solid. We worked on it with the stripe across the back. I, I really like them. I think they're really cool. So, solid. Centre Videotron. Big arena in Quebec City, Canada. Is that where they are tonight? You'd imagine in Canada they'd have a bigger audience. Oh, is this what happened there last week? Uh, DHL delivery. What's DHL delivery, lovely? Oh, the delivery was great. 
Uh, yeah, it's shoot as well. I know it is. I know it is. I'm not Vince style WWE is loser leave Eve, and it is loser leaves Eve. But I mean, Dan, you. May, I hate to say it, right? Uh, there's no storyline to bring them back in when they're gone. They're gone. I know. I know. But you made a mistake here, right? Because they're both amazing, and you're gonna lose a phenomenal wrestling for your show, and that's your own fault. And I get that, like. They can't be contained in a room at the minute. Yeah. And I get that your shows are kind of being um, blighted by the fact that these two keep freaking attacking each other all the time. I suppose they are ruining their own matches and, and ruining the flow of the show at times because the, the, you, can't, you can't just have a match without one of them coming out and costing the other. So maybe it is what you need to do. But at the same time, I'm not, I'm not cool on it, man. I think it's uh, I think it's bad booking, Dan. I think it's bad booking, is what I'm saying. Uh, some of the softies, well, that's what I am. Well, my last is. <laughs> so, love this softie, though. And the great thing is, there's so many talented wrestlers fighting to get into either place that uh, will open up. Someone is going to step up more than others. Mate, this shit Sapphire Reed has been doing, former champion now, you know? Like, Sapphire Reed is amazing. She'll be going in my uh, women's only DM mode. I need to find if I can get a decent PNG of her. Oh, I need to do all that next week. Orange Cassidy coming out with Trent Beretta going for the uh, tag titles. It's part of the tournament, this one. Uh, it's always so hard booking the show and leaving people off shows. I know, right? I can imagine. I can imagine. But I'm very excited for WrestleMania. And because I'm down here, I was like, I absolutely want to do it. <laughs> so let's do it. So it's one of the things in my job as well now, man. It, it can open up other things in the future, you know, which is really nice. Really nice position to be in. Undisputed. Coming up. Big up Danny boy. He's been doing a great job, man. Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. Oh, and Roderick Strong showing off the Intercontinental Championship. Hasn't really done much with him since he's won that, to be honest. But uh, I like the fact he's using it as part of his character now. A lot of gold on Undisputed, the United Kingdom at the minute. A lot of gold. Uh, Sapphire's doing her best work right now in Pro Wrestling Eve. And at 20 years old. I always think she's older than that. 20 years old. My goodness. <sighs> I'm nearly twice her age. Jesus. She's going to be uh, going into the War Games uh, cage match at Eve's 14th anniversary. I know, man. War Games. You, you're really risking like, all your talent, man. It's crazy. 20 years old and in the War Games already. Imagine how good she's going to be when she's 25. Mate, she's really good already. Like You don't need to wait till she's 25. She's, she's like Billy Stark's level of good. Like prodigy man, and she—I tell you what, she's, she's, uh, she's, she's shown a lot in the last six months, is what I'd say. She really impressed me in the last show. I told you that, didn't I? Or thirty? I know. Uh, it's okay that she's so young, and mate, she's amazing. She's amazing. Uh, yeah, Billy really wants her over with that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not surprised. Sapphire rocks, man. She's she's got it. She's got it. And I don't think I saw it at first, Dan. When when you was putting in the, her into the position that I could sort of see you was putting her into, I was like, I don't really know. And then, like, yeah, she absolutely is. Match against um, Miu Yamashita was outstanding. The Nina Samuel stuff has been outstanding. She's really shown character diversity and being able to portray that character in a in a convincing way with the motivations that all make sense behind it. In ring, she's using them motivations in the correct way. Like, all of that shit is what you want in a wrestler. That's all what makes wrestling great. Uh, Hassan votes for best friends. Yeah, I think it'll be best friends. And you should have pigtails. Thank you so much, Nemeth. I appreciate that, love. I appreciate that. Um, Phil's 
Uh, I vote for best friends, Hassan. Wow. Oh, did they have the victory over House Black? Wow. Ricky Starks and Big Bill going up against Tough Fight on Collision. Are they going to give them titles back to them? Who knows? TNT Championship Open Challenge from Adam Copeland, our new champion. Good, good episode last week. Good episode tonight, though. Good wrestling tonight. Um, I feel like there's bits of stories going places. I feel like things are moving. Like I say, it's a bit weird because it's not my normal setup, but it's all cool, man. It's all cool. I'm just happy to be here, man. Um, I, honestly, great birthday. Great to hang out with our lass and just spend some time with her, man. I will, I'll tell you one thing in the ring. I don't really like Trent. You see, well, I don't like I don't like that them two who are wrestling in the ring right now, Trent and Thingy, have the same same complex business with white and black on their ring gear. I always prefer like to have that visual dynamic, even in ring gear. You know, I think that's important, um, especially when I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> Uh, they were both wearing long, long pants with uh, with with white sort of scribble on it. the The issue is that I don't think either of them are established enough with that gear to be able to carry it off as a as a to business. So why the one that I have no idea. I have no idea. Probably all the hats, but you know, got to think about these things. In my opinion. Uh, and you should have pigtails. I vote for best friends. Ricky starts the WWE. Wouldn't surprise me. Good friends with Cody. Absolutely could do. I do think Kraken helps. Uh, I do think the Kraken helps. Why is it not a good show? Am I am I just blurry? <laughs> Kraken does help, man. Oh, it's nice to just chill out for a night. Because I don't have to be up anywhere in the morning. I don't have to... I can just, like, just relax, man. Just relax. It's going to be nice going to be nice. Um, I said I wanted to do a couple of little bits. I, I spent all I, I gutted the boys' bedroom today. Like, absolutely gutted it. Um, it was a shit on. And uh, just trying to help out because it's it's hard for our last at the minute. But it, uh, honestly, it was a hard day really. I put him up a new bed. She got him a new bed, so I put that up and then reorganised his room. But just rubbish, rubbish everywhere. So I'm trying to get him to take a bit of pride in his in his room as well. So I'm figuring all that out, but he's he's then he's been up and down today. That's the boy. Mm. Bennett teasing the hands in the pockets. Uh, why is dynamite on a Thursday? When is dynamite on a Thursday? Sorry, I missed it. Let me know, Nemeth. When is it on a Thursday? I don't want to miss it. I'm sorry that like the setup isn't the same as I normally have. Like I'm recording on my phone and stuff like this today. It's it's just one of those things, you know. I mean, I'm thankful to our last for helping sort it all out, get the fish tank working and that for me properly. Bless her. She had her hands in the fish water earlier. She is, I tell you what, she's a bloody good girlfriend, guys. I am a very lucky man. A very lucky man. High angle vertical suplex there from Mike Bennett onto Trent Barretta. Orange, getting frustrated at not being in the match by the looks of it. There's Matt Taven up on the second row. But gets caught. Beautiful suplex. I mean, we're, we've only got a half hour left of the show. It does feel, does it, it does feel like this shows. I think it's a Kraken that's helping the time fly. Maybe Joe Todd. Maybe that's maybe that's what you meant. Slingshot up. And a beautiful elbow drop onto the back while uh, Bennett holds him. I enjoy that. That's nice. 
innovative uh, maneuvers from the United Kingdom. Got a lot of gold at the minute. I have got a lot of gold. Shout out to Sean Ranklin, Dam Champ, Dam Champ. Shout out to you, bro. Shout out to you. See, I knew it, and I have my I have my A game on tonight. Yeah, man, you do. I'm, I'm, in my, I'm on my coffee cracking, baby. I'm on my coffee cracking, brother. <laughs> you are on your game. It's nice to see you, Todd. Orange Cassidy going up to the top rope. Big crossbody. Crossbody into the elbow, really. Going under. Up, around, and tornado. No, gets stopped by Bennett. Lift up, but it's a stun dog. Oh, massive self from him. Big high knee from Taven. Where's Bennett? Where's, uh, not Bennett. There we go. He's got him up on the shoulders. Delivering the kick while on his mate's shoulders. I don't know about that. Uh, by the way, I got the kingdom to win this. Okay, Todd, we'll see, man. We'll see. She said he was a lucky gallant. Who did I last? I'm a lucky gal. I'm so confused now. <laughs> I'm so confused. It's almost like Jack's taking over your uh, account. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, did you hear about the bridge collapse in Baltimore? Okay, six presumed dead, two bodies recovered. Ah, <sighs> sad. Really sad. Yeah, I saw it. Um, I mean, it was it was devastating it was a barge wasn't it that, that had uh crashed into it and the whole bridge looks like it imploded and obviously when you've got structural weakness in something that long like yeah once once points start failing it all starts failing um really sad and you know my heart goes out to the people that lost a loved ones um you know engineering is marvelous but human error ha happens as well it's it's just sad it's really sad Roderick Strong up on the turnbuckle here. Shows Orange Cassidy's title. And Orange Cassidy wants that title back. Leaves the belt in the ring. He goes for the big shoulder barge on him. But is this going to cost him? I think I feel like it is. I feel like it is. It's Taven and Bennett. I think you might be right, Tony Boy. But not that right. Not that right. Chicken orange, get the win. I did say chicken orange. Did I? Oh, man. Let me tell you. It's cracking, man. Oh, it is so smooth. Like, there's no mixer needed whatsoever. It is. And that's like half a bottle in this, in two, two cups. FTR, they're in the tournament. Cool. Oh, boo, says Todd. <laughs> it's like Final Destination. He certainly is. Uh, yeah, man, it's sad. It's sad. It's really sad. It's really sad. And I feel really sad for the families, you know, honestly. Like, just really shit timing, you know, to, to have been on that bridge. Yeah. A bold move to have your Ring of Honor tag champs lose two matches in a row. Is it, though, if you don't actually give a shit about Ring of Honor and you're not going to use it properly? I feel like it's a big mistake putting Ring of Honor on AEW. I feel like it is really it is really watering down the Ring of Honor brand in a way that it shouldn't be, if I'm honest. Nearly give the people what they want. As the young books come out, it'll be them versus best friends, obviously, next week. Okay, cool. That could be cool. Yeah, I feel I, like what I don't get is a lot of people have been talking about from from when I hear people talking about great match this Matt. God, I I really like the young books in this position, guys. 
I know some of you were against it the other week, but I think it's freaking cool. Um, they just came out to say good, good job, guys. Great, good bosses. Um, and reminders that that's happening next week. Okay, good, good. That's how we book things. Well done, Tony Khan, or whoever's helping him. Um. Yeah, so Ring of Honor, like, a lot of people have been talking about Ring of Honor being carried at the moment by Athena. Um, and Athena's great work in Ring of Honor. Athena being the, the women's uh, champ at the minute. Had a long story with Billy Starts and Mercedes. Oh, it's uh, Kyle backstage again. He's got that patch on him again. I wonder what that patch is. He didn't have it on last time. It's a deep roster and there's no such thing as an easy match with Carl Fletcher. Any second thoughts on doing something? London, Ontario, collision. Kyle O'Reilly proving he belongs. We belong. We belong, we belong, we belong, we belong. Pat Benatar. Um, that's what that's what you're here for, right? That's what you're here for. Pat Benatar references. Um, so yeah, man. Like Athena has been like the the most bold thing of Ring of Honor. She's been kept away from AEW, and she's like, uh, you know, the Ring of Honor Tag Champs have lost two matches in a row. Do you think that having Taven and Bennett on Dynamite? elevates them in any way whatsoever yes it gets them on tv yes it gets more people to know about them but does it elevate them whatsoever no no um your three-way tag tramps are on uh on dynamite and it's a meh feud right it's a meh feud at the minute um it's you know we're all talking this time last year we're talking about uh Jay White potentially going to WWE and all the great things he could do. And, and look at where he is now. I mean, he's, he's kind of in this trios comedy-ish segment, which can be fine sometimes, but other times, it's like, it doesn't feel like where Jay White belongs. We belong. Um, yeah. As she said, she was lucky last time she was in the stream. When you said you was lucky to have... Oh, man. Oh, bless, man. That's cool. That's cool. I am lucky. I am lucky. And, but honestly, like, we've had, like, our ups and downs recently, like, in a way that we've never had to before. Um, and it's okay. That's that's part of life, you know? Um, disagreements, I think, you know? Uh, but that's cool. That's cool. I'm not worried about it. She's not worried about it. Hey, Ant, get ready to dance. Oh, mate. Who is it? Who is it? Uh, it's for his diabetes, the patch. Is it? Is that what it's for? Right, cool, man. Hey, Ant, get ready to dance. Who's Who am I dancing for? I can't even remember who's main event. Takeshita. Yes. Takeshita. Let's do the Takeshita dance, people. That brown noise dance. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't spill it. No. It's too nice to spill. Um, yeah, Takeshi is up next, isn't it? It's Takeshi and Swerve. Wow. Have they done a good job of reminding us that this epic main event is happening now? Ah, uh, Takeshi's not winning this, is he? Damn it. So, what's next for Christian Cage? That's a uh, that's the question. Quite like this uh, battle Harland Edge, by the way. You know, I just wish they'd built up that spiky thing.
That was a good match, wasn't it? That was such a good match. That was a that was a main event of dynamite, guys. You don't plan on losing anytime soon. You know, I think he might. He's got an open challenge this Saturday. In Ontario, which I think is Canada, I think he might lose it. Genuinely, I think he might lose it. I think the, um, I think it's going to be Luchasaurus or Killswitch, as is known now. He's going to go and win it, and he's going to give the title back to Christian. That's that's my big call. I don't really see what having the TNT cha championship on edge does. I don't think there's any great heels in that mid card that need that title off edge. Unless you was to do like, there we go, we've got our first second match for Dynasty. We've only got two matches, haven't we? Yeah, we've got Osprey, Danielson, uh, Willow and Julia Hart, and I think that's it. Is it Swerve and we, we assume it's Swerve and uh, Swerve and Samoa Joe? Um, I can't remember what I was talking about. I'm, I'm a bit drunk, it's fine, it's fine. It's my birthday. Uh, wait, are they really doing the mental crap with Jericho again? They they are doing the mental crap with Jericho again. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm kind of looking forward to it and seeing where it goes. It's a different way of using Jericho, I suppose. I better go, whose house? Oh, no, shit, no. What have you done? You got the goofy? No, no. Last week, he didn't even do it, man. Okay, it's gone. It's gone. They, got, they had the bloody comic writing again. But it's gone now. That's fine. Whew. Thank goodness, sir. Eh? Dance and dance, says Todd. It's all Todd's here's for. <laughs> oh, we do that again this time. Cool. Oh no, they've got the writing. They've got the writing. Get rid of 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 it. This one's incredible, isn't he? Um, I feel like the chain needs to come into things more. He's, he's wearing this big chain a lot on the minute. And uh, I know that it's uh, the chain that he used to hang Hangman from. So I, I get that side of it. I think he needs to establish it more. He's waiting to do. Oh, this is going to be good. And I've had a little drink. So I'm even more excited to just watch some bloody good wrestling. Let's go. It's Takeshita. Wah! Can we have? Can we have? <coughs> can we just have, like, Takeshita and Samoa Joe that, that dynasty? Please. Please. Why not? Why not? Why not? I mean, let me ask you that. Why not? Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. We just have to catch that. Let's just let's just really give him a push. Let's just, just give him give him the goddamn championship. Yeah, he's he's beautiful in the ring. He's beautiful in the ring. Let me tell you. Uh, dance and dance, says Todd. You got it, man. You got it. I've had a drink. You've got it. Uh, I vote for Swerve Strickland. Uh, yeah, Swerve's winning. It's a shame. Uh, this will be a banger of a match. I'm a little worried about Takeshita. Um, like, I don't think he's in a spot where he can take multiple losses. And he's, uh, I mean, he's had a loss to to Swerve and and to to sorry, uh, Will Osprey and potentially Swerve here, which I don't think is the end of the world because those are both top of the card. Uh, Reggie also votes for Swerve. Wow, go on. This will be a banger of a match. I can't wait as they're shaking hands in the ring. 
but not letting go of each other's hands. Let's see what happens now as the two men facing off. Oh, mate. Oh, I am here for this shit. I vote swerve. Go on, Reggie. You vote swerve, my friend. Now controlling the arm to cash there. Swerve wrestles him down to the mat. Don't know what the crowd are shouting. Probably this is dynamite. Oh, going up and over, but spinning around. Nearly lost his balance there, but spinning around, catching himself on the rope. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. There's a feeling each other out right now. The two men feeling each other out. Not been in the ring together before, I assume. And now the dance begins. The two step up for the waltz position. Who is going to... Who? I mean, the thing is, these two characters are both quite dastardly as well. Swerve especially. Shit, what was that? He just like... He just flipped over himself. Going up over the top. Trying to get Takeshi down. Takeshi goes for the punch, but instead, Swerve picks him up, goes for the roll-up. Takeshi kicks out, of course. Now looking for an armbar. Takeshi are able to get to the rope. Nice, man. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Can you imagine this is a strap match? Oh, oh, mate. Oh, mate. Even the start of this match, I'm loving it. Just feeling each other out. The whole... Um, we've not been in the ring together before. We're going to just approach this from a sensible point of view. Okay, going under... And uh, it's like a shoulder, but he grabs onto the head as he goes down. It's so quick, you can't even see it. Ah! Samoa Joe watching on, wondering who he's going to be competing against at Dynasty. Honestly, give me Takeshita. Give me Takeshita, please. Love Swerve. Love Swerve to pieces. I feel like if he gets it at Dynasty, he has to win it. I don't know if it's a pay-per-view I want to see Swerve win it at, if I'm honest. I'd rather see it at All In, Double or Nothing, something like that, you know, bigger, bigger sort of pay-per-view, personally. Going up for him. It also feels a bit, a bit quick after the sort of three-way match. Swerve... Showing off to the crowd. he's He's got a perfect balance, hasn't he? <gasps> Can you imagine if Sassy was here right now? Can you imagine the chat if Sassy was here? It'd be filth. Big attack from Swerve. Attacking Takeshita's midsection. Oh, looking for the neck breaker on the second rope, and d it hits, man. Oh, God damn it, man. Uh, send in Sassy love. Absolutely. Everyone should send Sassy some love. I'm sending Sassy some love. The message her tomorrow, find out if she's okay. Um, no, Ma, I think it was said that. Uh, oh, was it a Mark? Said that she was doing some church work um, this week, so that's cool. That's cool. Big boot from Kanas Takashita. Swerve going under, underhook. Oh, backbreaker. Backbreaker, but it's not your normal backbreaker, it's like an underhook lift backbreaker. Sheer drop. Brain Buster from Takeshita onto Swerve. Oh, Swerve. Swerve. What in a second? Asking the ref to give him a second, but Takeshita. Constantly attacking with them forearms. Uh, 
Swerve is on the back foot right now after that net breaker of the sheer drop brain buster. Which he should be, man. I mean, it's a big move. I think that's what I like about them. They can, like, they can deliver. They can deliver stuff with... Like, there's so much emotion being placed in all of this. Like, that sheer drop brain, brain bus just takes out Swerve. And it takes the time. But they can also do that at a really fast pace. And they can just mix everything up. Like the German and the forearm that Takeshita follows through with. But it's not just his bloody forearm that connects. It's his whole left side of his body that's that's thrown into it. I've just knocked shit over. Sorry. Oh, I did... I got a real nice um, gift from a friend uh, of mine and Becky's, Daniel, who got me a really nice new on-air sign, actually, for when I'm back at home as well. So I'm really excited for that. And I said to him, I said, normally with these things, the um, the length of the USB cable is normally crap. Uh, this is really good. So it's going to look really good on the videos. I can't wait to get home and, and put that up, actually. It's going to be really cool. Takeshita in control of Swerve right now. Here we go. On the apron right now. Takeshita pulling Swerve into the ring, looking for a slingshot on that bottom rope, and it does. It chokes out Swerve Strickland. How's the uh, stream quality been? Has it been all right, Todd? Or Jeff, or anyone that's in. No, we've got eight people watching. There we go, to cash down. Running big, boo. Connects with Swerve, sends him down. Lifting him up now. Oh, just slamming him down. Not, not even waiting. Just getting him in position as the crowd are booing to Kester. Looking for the big back sent on and he delivers. Before before the disrespectful pin. Just going with a knee, man. Just going with a knee. Swerve trying to get his knees up, but Swerve is on the back foot right here. Now now trying to get the fans behind by slamming on that mat. And the fans finally started to come to life. Ready to support Swerve Strickland. Uh, yeah, you look freaking good, Ant. Mate, I feel good. I feel good. I feel a, I feel a happy 38, man. I've got my I've got my new sleeve. I'm very happy with that. I'm sure you've noticed it several times on tonight's stream. But God damn, it's sexy, man. There was someone who was it on stream last night, last week, asking like, is it okay to get tattoos at an old range? I'm like, yeah, man. Like, when you die, like they'll still look fresh. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man. Feels beautiful. Feels real nice to have like a cohesive sleeve. I took a long time like deciding on what I wanted, you know. And I was like, bands, tarot cards, like bands in tarot cards, it makes a lot of sense to me. Um, yeah, very happy with it, man. Very happy with my tattoo. And the artist that did it is, is she's phenomenal. She's phenomenal. And I've got another session with her in April. We'll be doing all that part because there's a lot of white there. <laughs> there's going to be a uh, there's going to be Ozzy. Ozzy's going to be part of it. The Prince is his card, of course, because he's Prince of Darkness. Uh, Marilyn Manson, big part of my life. Marilyn Manson, and I think uh, Steve Tyler from Aerosmith as well. So yeah, all just music I love, man. Music I love. Music I'm passionate about. You know. And into cash over the top, swerve with a handstand over the top, able to connect with the leg. Now, while that move didn't look like devastating, I really appreciate that because I've never seen anyone attempt that before. The handstand into a overhead hurricanrana. That's like innovative, you know. And when I was talking before about what's what makes Mercedes Monet, um, 
great is is stuff like that. I find I find her very innovative. And Swerve is absolutely that. Swerve's not willing to sit on what he's done already, what he's accomplished, and use that to continue sort of on the trajectory that he was on. Swerve could absolutely do a five moves of doom. But Swerve's better than that. Massive forearm from Takeshita. Beautiful stuff. He hits down. Uh, you need one more mug of Kraken and Happy B Day. Todd. I feel like I've got happy eyes. Hmm. <laughs> I'll, st I'll stay with it, Todd. I'll stay with it. That's fine. Uh, four minutes left of time, mate. Going up and over, rolling through. And he lands on the top of Takeshi's shoulders, though. Head slammed into the thing to catch it straight back up. Beautiful shotgun drop kick. Send Swerve out. Is there an element of who's going to win here? I don't think there is. But is there? Maybe? Potentially? To catch there? Saying to the camera, this is my chance. This is my shot. I think my uh, I think it's calling me, Todd. It's my birthday, right? <laughs> my birthday, man. <laughs> well, too. Oh, mate, I've drank a lot though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Todd. Ah, I'm not bothered. I'm sat here watching great wrestling with good people. Having a good time. Cheers. Cheers, Todd. Cheers, my dude. Cheers. Probably going to get demonetized for this, for smoking and drinking on camera, but whatever. Demonetized. I don't even think I set the monetization up. I didn't set the monetization up for this. I really don't give a shit. I love Swerve's fight. Headbutt from Takeshita, though. Taking out the knees of Takeshita. Big boot to the face. Go on, Swerve. Ooh, big DDT from the top rope. DDT snapped and released DDT. There was no sort of hold on there. Don't know what it was. Innovative. Like it. Has this been great? Or am I just at that time of the night? Let's go. A kick out, a kick out, a kick out from Takeshita. I didn't set up the tags in this video, actually. Maybe that's why we haven't ever many viewers coming in. Oh, I'm not bothered. I just wanted to get it done. I just wanted, I just wanted to, I just wanted to have a good time and say hello to my friends. This is awesome chance from the crowd. Who is that? Uh, this is great. And mate, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. I wonder how a lass would find something like this. Like, this is great wrestling. And both of them look like mega stars right now. They really do look like superstars. I'm really pleased with both of them. Poison Rana. Sends Swerve back and he looks dead. Blue Thunderbomb. Oh, mate, Swerve is selling so good in this match. God, look at that poison rana. And again with the blue thunder. Oh my word. Oh my word. And his hair still looks better than mine. What the fuck? <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> Uh, 
It makes me feel like I need a shower. Oh, forearm. I sends the Kestra back. The Kestra is sat down. Takeshi going back in the corner, able to get his boot up, but Swerve pulls it, rolls through. Takeshi with a high knee. Takeshi has had answers for everything that Swerve has delivered. Takeshi has looked amazing in this match. Oh, but goddamn Swerve, man. With the selling and with the... And a kick out, a kick out. I don't, I think I, I think I just lost stream slightly for a second. Sorry. Oh, he's looking for the double stomp. He's he's getting the crowd built up for the double stomp. Nana is as well. The crowd know what's coming. This is new, man. This is a new swerve. As Takeshita rolls out. Takeshita. But he rolls to the apron. Is that going to stop swerve? No, it doesn't. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, watch your ass, boy. Holy shit, gents from the crowd. Me too. Me too. Uh, awesome blue thunder bomb by Takeshita. I know, right? Wasn't it phenomenal? He goes up to another one. He's able to catch him. Power bomb. Rolling him through. Picking him up again. High suplex. Looking for that brain buster. Sheer drop. Chopped to the back of the head. Lifting him up now. Rolling through. He's, oh, he's picking him up. Deadlift German, deadlift German. Rolls through. And the knee. Is Takeshi going to win? One, two. <sighs> Come on, man. Come on. I'm drunk. All right, I'm drunk. Leave me be. Leave me be. I'm into it. I'm into it. It's okay. <laughs> Freaking hell. Come on, Takeshi. The crowd might be behind Swerve, but I'm like, let's go to Kester, man. I tell you what, Swerve has been amazing in this match as well. The pair of them have been amazing in this match. Going up to the top rope now, putting Swerve on the top. What is the Kester call for? for Colin Bond? This is going to mess up, man. This is going to mess up. Swerve fighting it. Yeah, he's, he's got his legs crossed. Oh, big back forearm sends Takeshita back. Now what Swerve looking for? He's looking for the double stomp. Takeshita, your hair looks great, love. You don't need to move it. Ah, oh, misses again. Swerve can't hit anything. Until he does. Until he sends him into the turnbuckle. Back heel kick. Not, not as good as Swerve normally makes it look. Now, finally going up to that. What a story, man. Finally going to hit this double foot stomp in the ring. And he manages to finally hit it. Is that going to be enough to put away to catch the one, two? <laughs> and the crowd are behind it. The crowd are behind it because that's not even his finisher. But because the whole match has been about him finally hitting that. Oh, and he ducks underneath him from behind. He doesn't even know that he's going to hit. But he does because he's great. Four knee. Four knee. That's not even a bloody thing. Lifted him up. Oh. Single stomp from a standing position. How the fuck do you jump on someone's shoulders? How do you do that just from a standing position? Oh, man. No, yeah, that's it. That's dead. <laughs> Lay down to catch that. How do you how do you jump on someone's shoulders from a standing position? How do you do that? I can't do that. Becky, Samoa Joe looks pissed. I, I'm I'm happy, man. That was. Oh, what's what's uh, Renee want? Yeah, so as the number one contender, because the rankings matter tonight. Next week, Swerve. 
Okay, like, look, next, next week they have a, a contract signing. But Samoa Joe setting it up now, saying something's going to happen at this contract signing. So I don't hate it. Do, do you know what I mean? It's like, it, it, it's little things like that that make sense. And Swerve just smiling away with that chain. Really needs to establish that chain more. Really needs to establish that chain more. Calling for the belt. Um, and I'll tell you what, uh, it's uh, Samoa Joe versus Swerve Strickland for the championship. Yeah. Oh God, wouldn't it have been good if Takeshita won, though? Um, I tell you what, Swerve in defeat. I think he, I think, I think they probably knew that Takeshita being in this position again and taking a big loss, and it is a big loss. He's lost now to Osprey and Swerve in big positions, big matches. Was um, was was a big thing to put on Takeshita because I think uh, I think he's phenomenal. And bear in mind that Kenny Omega had like multiple losses to him to establish him. So I think what, for me, what that match did is is they went into it and went, let's let's make Takeshi look amazing in it. In the same way that they did with, with uh Osprey and Takeshi. And I think he absolutely looked amazing. I really do. Um I believed. I believed. Um, so close and so very close. Yeah, do you see what I mean? I when when Takeshita first came in, man, I was like, this guy is special. And watching that, he is freaking special, man. He is special. Bear in mind, they didn't build that main event very well on the show in terms of if you if you look at last week where it was Copeland versus Christian, it was big stakes, it was high sort of thingy. Sort of big man event, blah, blah blah. But that was freaking amazing, man. That was a great match. Really well built from the feeling out sections of it to Swerve taking all the back back foot of it. To him going for that Swerve stomp multiple times and unable to sort of connect in the way that he needed to. He did on the apron. Um, but connecting the way that he needed to to win the match. And even when he does finally get it, and the crowd finally going, Yes, you finally got it. And then it goes, I kicked out of it. Wow, what a moment for Takeshita that was. What a moment for Takeshita. Good show. Dan, I agree, man. I agree. I definitely agree. Um, Dan, I'm not going to be able to... Oh, shit. Why have I brought up some a bloody Caravaca thing? Because I can't bloody use a bloody touchpad. Um, good show. Thanks, Dan. Um, it was a good show. That was match the night. Great finish. I loved it, Todd. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, good night, everyone. See you next week. Reginald, thank you for joining us, man. I'll see you next week. I'm sorry I've been a bit drunk this week. I won't be drunk every week. This week I'm drunk. Um, tonight was an A. Yeah, um, it feels about right. It felt like it did everything right. It felt like it it moved things on in the correct way that needed to be moved on. I feel like I've got a lot of shadow here. When I... Um, uh, performer of the night, Willow. Yeah, I thought Willow put on a great show actually in that match. Um, Statlander, once again, uh, is always impressed me. And Sky Blue impressed me. Anna Jay was, was sort of nothingness in the match. Um, but everyone else was really, really good. It was a really good show, man. Uh, performer of the night for me, I'd say, was uh, was Swerve. I think his selling was outstanding in that match. Like, he put over to catch the big time in that match. Big time. And I like that shit. Uh, just think, Todd, Julia Hart is probably backstage right now. Robin Eichmann on Paul Sky Blues, her places from the fifth floor. No, ma, no, ma, no, no, ma. <laughs> Filth. Love it. Uh, Dynasty is going to be a five star pay per view, probably, but every AEW, every AEW pay per view is worth watching at least, right? I think I've got three pay per views for. What did I buy it for? How much did I pay for that? Oh, I can't check. But here's the other thing that I did. This is why I started the stream late. So normally I'm just having a crap when I start the stream late. Tonight I didn't. Um, I was uh, <laughs> the I couldn't find the Roku remote right, which is what I watched Triller on. And I had to remember that I watched Triller on the 
uh, because it's no longer fight, so it's a different app on the Roku as well. Anyway, long story short, I couldn't find the Roku app, so I had to download it on my phone. However, I'm also streaming to you on my phone, <laughs> so I'm like, right, I set it off, and then um, and then I'm 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 trying to set stuff up. Oh mate, my 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 setup is shit right now. My setup is shit. I'm currently <laughs> watching you. Lent up. You are lent up against a bottle of Easy Carbo, which is liquid carbon fertilizer, and some sort of painting unicorn. Um, with a bottle of still water that I was trying to figure out how to use earlier. A laptop, sour glasses. There's a actually there's there's another camera here. This one's as good. Let me just uh, present me in a in a double way. This is when I'm reading comments, but I don't think this camera's as good. I don't know. Let me know if it is. If it is, it'd save me a lot of work. Um, um, a, a light up there here. Oh, we get we get backstage with Anthony. The light there, because I will ask. I bought her a, for for Christmas. No, for a birthday a couple of years ago. She was trying to get into photography, and I was like, "Yeah, let's get you into photography, man." And um, so I was like buying her a couple of uh, a couple of lights, so um, but now I use them. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, you you lent up against the. There's my pepperoni from earlier. There's my liquid carbon fertilizer, and the DIY. Uh, what is it? Uh, unicorn. Isn't it? There's the uh, there's the rats. Where are you, babes? Hello, guys. Bowie, Remy. My birthday presents are all down there. Whoa, hey. Um, yeah, everything's just a bit, a bit all over the place. I'm watching telly over there. Over, oh, hang on. Shit, see? Uh, watching telly over there. Yeah. It's all... <sighs> oh, it's a little crazy this week. But it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so, yeah, we'll probably do... Uh, we'll probably do next week as well. Um... Fucking thing don't work very well. Um, this is why my friends and I'm like, you're both filth. You're both filth. Quit mind think alike, Todd. You certainly do. Uh, why, yes, said Todd. So, what what else can I show you? I've had a great week, man. I've had, um, I've got birthday presents. I bought a last an assassin's teapot. Have you ever heard of an assassin's teapot? The same I make is muted, but I assume it's just this mic. I think you can hear me. Assassin's teapot. I love drunken ant. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, love. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm getting into it. If Sassy was here, she'd be sending me messages on my Facebook saying, end the freaking stream, Anthony. End the freaking stream. What are you doing? I bought myself a Rio. Way. Hello, Rio. I bought myself a Nick Jackson. And a Matt Jackson. Both from different fucking things, man. I... I'm really pissed off. <laughs> I bought them. I was like, yay, Matt and Nick Jackson. They're both wearing freaking different outfits. That means they're different tag teams. And this one is really cool. He has, like, fabric. Fabric. This guy is really garbage. He's all plastic. Not fantastic. It's because one series seven, one series three. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. That's what I bought myself. What did I what did I get? I got um oh I got a nice one I found last today. It's a late Christmas present. It's a bust. It's a Cardinal Copia bust. Right? So uh, I'm a big fan of the fan of the band Ghost. Um that's Cardinal Copia. Um that's what it looks like there. Which is a bust to put on me. I don't know. Me last bought me a bust. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I love it. Um, that's who. That's that's what Cardinal Copy became. Oh mate, how do I like show shit? Uh, oh, I can just move the phone. How about that? There you go. That's what Cardinal Copy became. Uh, down there, my papa, my papa. Um, got some rum, cherry rum. Well, hey, cheers, cheers, lass. Um, what else did I get? Got some sweets, man. I got like a box of sweets. I love a sweet. I've got a Bowie jigsaw puzzle. So, I think I've got, like, uh, 
some sort of neurodivergence. I think I hyperfocus, and I think that's how I got into wrestling actually. And then I sort of created something else out of it, and it's so it's no longer just a hyperfocus. It's uh, it's it's maybe it is a hyperfocus, but it's been a long term hyperfocus. And even when I don't feel like hyperfocusing on it, I I still deliver what what I said I'm going to deliver. I'd say I, I you know I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna stream on a Wednesday. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. So I don't, I don't necessarily think it's like hyper focusing on wrestling for this anymore, but maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it's long term hyper focusing. Anyway, what was the fuck was I talking about? Right. So my new hyper focus. I watch a girl <laughs> on YouTube. She's called Karen Puzzles. And it's just a young girl who is clearly very autistic in the best way possible, who just loves doing jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> And I've got right into jigsaw puzzles. And I, I'm like, so I sit at home. I bought, I bought a, I'm sending out last a message. I'm like, I've just bought myself a new jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> and I'll sit there and I'll sit there for hours, like just sorting out all the pieces and just enjoying, enjoying the process of puzzle making. Well, here we go. She bought me a David Bowie jigsaw puzzle because my girlfriend knows me very well and i look at that and i go i didn't say thank you i went there's a lot of different black sections in that that are going to be very difficult to do and that red section is quite big on the bottom and very happy man what a good what a good girlfriend i've got um do i show you my honest i'm sorry i am i am a bit drunk just like if you don't want to say drunk anthony just go i got some socks i love socks man i freaking look Every birthday and Christmas, I get socks. Like I'm the happiest man. I love socks. Um, you saw it saying thanks, Todd. Man, bless you, dude. Um, yeah, oh, that's very kind to hear. Thank you, man. Nice book stand. Thanks, baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, everyone in wrestling has something. Yours truly included. Probably, probably, um, probably. But it's all cool. It's all cool. I saw the ghost Funko in Forbidden Planet. Mate, but I fucking hate Funkos. Dom bought me two... Uh, he's bought me two Funkos to try and get me into them. I hate Funkos. I don't want Funkos. I think they're a really crap design. <laughs> like, I see them and I'm like, they're just crap. <laughs> like, I get I get the idea of collecting what you want to collect and, and having... A design, a design that works around anything you could possibly want it to do. Our lass has got some. Let me show you. Let me show you. This is drunk, Anthony man. This is just like this is this is just for you guys. This is a birthday treat, right? Uh, oh yes, yeah, socks, man. I fucking love socks. I've got some Slipknot socks. Yeah. Uh, what else did I get? Did I get one nice? I bought our lass an anniversary present. Um. So. I love her very dearly. Um, oh, she she got me cards, man. She got me a, a ghost card and a, a sleep token anniversary card. Ah, uh, you got me in a choke hold. Yeah. Um, I love them. I love socks, man. I love socks. Honestly, like there was a rapper. I don't know who he, what his name was. He was a rapper. I'm really drunk. I'm sorry. Can we forget this stream ever happened? P potentially. Um, there was a rapper. And he had... I'm doing like a selfie thing. This feels fucking weird. There was a rapper. And he had he had this thing where he had to have um, a new pair of socks on every day. And and it, so he'd, he'd wear a pair of socks. And then he'd give them to charity and stuff. And there was like... There's this whole thing. Of, oh, God, I can't believe he wears a new pot, so the pair of socks. And it's like, no, he gives them to charity straight after. And, and all this. I'm like, that is the height of luxury, man. <laughs> it's a new pair of socks every day. <laughs> I'm like, dude, that is cool. Uh, would you be shocked to know I'm currently wearing Ghostbusters socks? Absolutely not, man. Absolutely not. But what I will say is band socks is really difficult. So 
EMP released um, a couple this year. I'm hoping they're going to extend the range this year because the the No Ghost is a good seller of theirs. Um, they had Motorhead socks, and it was an advent calendar. A new pair of mo uh, a new pair of socks every day in December. I could be like the rapper. I could I could live my fantasy, man. New pair of socks every day. God, I'd be so happy. I make video diaries for you all. Um, <laughs> what else did I get? Oh, some sweeties. Got some sweets. Um, so thank you. Um, hello, beautiful. Do you like to see the ratty? There's a ratty. Oh, that's Bowie as well. Hello, baby. Hello. Come and say hello to people. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Oh, she's adorable. Um, right. Funkos. Oh, mate, I need to. I need to try and stand up. My knees are knackered. I got a really cool new one. So, like, I have compression socks that go all the way to my knees. Oh man. I've had to wear them. When I had any operations, I had to wear compression socks. They're not nice, man. They get really itchy and uncomfortable. Do you have to wear them all the time, man? That's rough. Mate. Oh, mate. No. No. Oh, anniversary present for our last. I bought her an assassin's teapot. Because mm, I'm romantic. Um, The thing that you buy for the love of your life uh, during your anniversary. So, this teapot is what assassins used to use to kill people. Um, so, <laughs> I love it. Um, here it is. Mm, let me, there we go. You can see it there. So, oh, I've not taken it out before. I don't know if she has either. Oh, she's not trying to kill me yet. So basically, there's, it's it's really difficult to, to explain, but there's two different places that you put the drink into. You can put the drink in the top hole here, but you can also put the drink in the bottom hole here. And basically, when you cut off the airflow to one of the two sections, so imagine this is split in half. So you could have like, like poison in the top half and non-poison in the bottom half. If you cut off that air hole, it's going to create a vacuum so that all it's going to pour is the top half. And if you cover up this air hole, then it's going to create a vacuum that only allows the bottom half, which is how assassins used to kill people. Happy anniversary, baby. Hey. Eh? Uh, not all the time makes my feet feel good, as long as it makes you feel good, man. As long as it makes you feel good, whatever makes you happy, that's all that matters, brother. Um, oh, so, yeah, she's got some shitty Funkos. Um, let's see her shitty Funkos, I guess. Oh, mm. Mm. There we go. Very educational. Man. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's the thing that, I think it's more heavily rumoured, but, um, whether it's a, whether it's, whether it's an actual thing or just like a urban legend, I think it's a really nice, um, nice thing that actually scientifically works as well. When you when you cut off the the air to one of them, it, it, it pours it in a certain way. Yeah, so she's got some really shit in front of. What does she have? She has a hat. Mate, that's something I would have worn years ago. Um, she's got Annabelle there. Is that Annabelle? Is that Annabelle? Is it Annabelle? I think it's Annabelle. No, I don't think it is because she doesn't have the squarely things. I don't know who the hell that is. She's got the bride. Which I mean is is okay for a secondary character. <sighs> She's got the bicycle girl. The bicycle girl's cool. She works. Um <sighs> Let's talk Labyrinth. I love Bowie. I am a huge Bowie fan. My next tattoo after I've got my sleeve done is gonna be a whole Bowie back piece. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait. Love David Bowie. He's like a huge inspiration. Um, really exciting. Um, I hate labyrinths. I don't like labyrinths, man. I can't stand labyrinths. Um, Daryl, I don't know what that thing is. I mean, uh, uh, the the skeletal cat is educational, but 
don't know what it is. And Jigsaw has very dusty legs, man. Very dusty legs. I have to tell him about that. Fox school. So we've been collecting uranium glass. That's a that's a thing we've been doing. Um, I got a real nice um, uranium glass um, duck. Um, so back in the, the one of these is broken actually. Back in the um, fifteen uh, early nineteenth century, when they was creating the green and glass, they used to put uranium in it until 1945 which um there was something that bad that happened with uranium then and um, so they stopped using it to create green glass at that point but um you can get some beautiful pieces of art and they all glow up really nice in uv light so you know and me being a lampy former lampy um yeah i feel like i'm gonna end the stream i feel like i'm just being very drunk and uh i need to stop i've had a great night what did i rate that dynamite out of 10 I really enjoyed it, man. It was a thoroughly good show, and uh, and and I had a really good time. Um, I am having a wicked time at our lasses. Um, thank you for for like dealing with the sort of shoddiness of the streams. You know, I I, I try and make them as good as I can normally. And uh, yeah, I thought the man who fell to earth was good, mate. I would rather I would much rather watch the man who fell to earth than the labyrinth, like. Hundreds of times a week, man. That is way better as a movie. The Labyrinth, I just think, is overrated. I think, like, Never in the Story is better. Uh, night, Ant and all. Thank you, Todd, man. Uh, night to you. Uh, we love you, Ant. We, mate, I love you. I love you, man. I love, I love the fact that, like, I come from a holiday to my girlfriend, and she's like, do you have to stream tonight? And I'm like, yeah. I just want to see my mates. <laughs> um... You don't know how much you all mean to me. You really do. Every single person that watches this, this podcast, every single person that says hello, whether you're watching this drunken part of the stream, or whether you, uh, whether you, whether you, whether you enjoy the normal part, or whether you're watching my GM mode, man, which is doing amazing. I appreciate you all, man. I appreciate you all. And uh, on that note, I'm going to say good night. And uh, wish you all a good week. Do subscribe to Pro Wrestling Eve because you might see me on stream being a wrestling nerd along with the nerdy nerds. Yeah. <laughs> I love you all. Take care. Good night. Goodbye. Happy birthday, me. <laughs> and Mifflet. Michael. It's Michael's birthday. Same day as mine. See you later, guys.